Hi, my name is Jack and I'm a customer support specialist for Doc365. And today I'm going to show you how to create a document library in SharePoint and how to create a custom view for that document library. So here we're on a landing page, a custom site by Doc, and we're going to go to Site Contents. And this is where you go to create a document library. There is a shortcut to do it right through here, but to go to Site Contents, a little you get a little more options and you can see more of what's going on. So um, I like to come in here. So once the page loads, you're in Site Contents. This will show you all of your document libraries, all of your lists, everything you really need to see that you have going on in this site. So we're going to click this new button right here, and we're going to go to Document Library. Uh, let's just name this one Library 1 for testing purposes. So, And we don't want it to show in the site navigation, um, unless you really do. That will show up right here, um, which we do not want that right now. So we'll create it. <clears throat> okay, so that's being created, but we already do have a document library created with data in it already with multiple people that have uploaded documents. So let's go to that document library. So pretend this is the one we just created and users have uploaded data. We have this user and this user, two different users, multiple data forms. So now if you want to create a specific view, you're going to go to the library settings. So click on the gear icon and go to library settings. <clears throat> from here you're going to want to scroll down through general settings through columns and you get to a section called views here we have a view called all documents and that is the default view right now that is why we see all the documents listed from both users what we want to do we want to create a new view <clears throat> we want to create a view that's going to be specific to our user so we want to see only the documents that we submitted so let's click on a standard view nothing special about it. To achieve this, uh, let's call the view name My Documents. There we go. And we're going to want to make this the default view. <clears throat> that way when you click into this document library, it'll show you only your documents. So you can append this to uh, you know, a link of some sort. So when you click on that link, it'll bring you straight to that user's documents. So we're going to scroll through columns. We don't need that. Um, actually, um, in here, we want to judge it by, we want created by to be a thing. So we're going to do created by. That way you can select the filter off that column. So scrolling down, we don't need sort, filter. This is what we're going to want to use. So right now it's showing all items in this view. We don't want that. We want to have it specific to certain conditions. So we're going to click this radio button. So right now, show the items when column we're going to look for created by. So when the created by column, which will have our name attached to it, when it's equal to me. So that's just a, a shorthand version of um, just saying like the current logged in user. So when that field, when that column is equal to our username, it'll display only that data. So Or when column none, you don't have to fill anything out down here. That's fine. You can leave this blank. So scroll all the way down. If we click OK. And there you have it. Now, going to this document library, it will only show the current user's documents. So if you like this video and if it helped you, go ahead and give us a like or a share. Uh, thanks for watching.